What's up guys and welcome back to a new series with me and this is called What the F***? Yeah, weird name but you know it's five things that have made me go what the f this week and whether it's in the news or in my life personally or just out and about anything like that has made me go yeah anyway let's get on with it shall we um number five so I was on the bus to college the other day and I forgot my headphones and there was these kids on the bus honestly they I don't know what to say really let's just say they went a bit like this hey mate yeah you remember that day when you told us you went um to London with your family and you saw that girl and you fingered her? Oh yeah mate, don't worry about that, it's all good, it's all good. No, and you said that you were going to stick your third finger in but you slipped and you popped her cherry. No, shut up mate, you're not going to tell everyone that everyone can hear you now. Um, first of all, I don't think anyone has or can pop a cherry with their fingers, unless your fingers are as big as your dick, which I highly doubt so, you can't do it. And then they proceeded on to going like this. Yeah mate, you did. And I was sure you popped your mother's cherry. Mate, your dad popped your mother's cherry before you popped out of her <laughs> vagina. Oh, you know. Number four. So in the news the other day there was um something about water boards. The ones at university that had to throw up and stuff. Yeah them. So apparently you're not allowed to wear them anymore at some universities. They've just um banned them for reasons of being health and safety issues. Or what's wrong with them? Apparently one person got really badly injured at uni. How how? I don't understand. You hat on your head, you fling it up. What is it like? Five thousand hats just land on you, and you've broken your arms, broken your legs. Okay, if you say so. I just don't understand why they're broken. Hey, we graduated. <coughs> no. Number three. I ain't got much to say about number three. I'll be a semi-professional footballer and crossbar challenge of football at college. He knows who he is. He done pretty shit. I'll show you some of his clips. I've got black laces at home as well. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say five, two. Five times, he hit it twice. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so cocky over that. Number two, so I bought a pack of jam donuts the other day because I was hungry and I brought them home to eat and my dad bought my brother, brother, this geezer, yeah him, I bought him home a um, ring donuts because I had jam and they felt bad for him, yeah he's the favourite of us too, fucking, but yeah anyway, uh, he got the donuts and he asked for a jam one and I said no you're not getting a jam one mate why do you want a jam one and he said oh please I said no went to college the next day come home from college there's a ring donut in my bag instead of a jam donut and I said to him oh do you want the last jam donut? nah bruv nah it's, it's good okay how come there's a ring donut in my bag then wouldn't notice how much of a mug do you think I am do I look like a mug bro nah I'll get him back you wait and see guys And finally, number one, I'm probably going to get fired from work for this if they see this, but YOLO. So I was at work the other day and I had a surface customer behind the till and she goes to me. You alright darling? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Can I have a um, Mr. Softy please with a flake? Yes, you can. And a Diet Coke? Yes, you can. So I put it all in and... Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to give her a receipt. And she started getting gobby to me. Forgot my receipt, what sort of uh, worker are you? Well, I'm sorry, mate. You know, uh, I try my best, but it doesn't seem to work out that well. So I gave her the ice cream. 
accidentally forgot the flake because it was a long day. She goes, where's my flake? Alright, took the ice cream. Make sure you give me a flake, don't forget it. Okay, okay. The flake, put it in the ice cream, gave her the ice cream. And then she starts complaining, saying I didn't give her the correct ice cream. Saying the flake was too small also. And she ate the flake and reported me. Oh, I can say to you was, fuck you. And that made me go, what the f I got reported at work. Nearly got fired. I'm being fired for giving someone a small flake. Couldn't go down too well, could it? Anyway, guys, that's it for the new series. Probably isn't the best way to start it. I mean, that's five things. Whether it's this week or month, I don't know. I'll decide, depending on how much next week actually makes me go, what the f So, this time it is it. Uh, thank you for watching, if you have. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I know I've only got a small fan base, and I'm glad I have a small fan base and a bigger one. And that they've stuck by me while I've been at college, and that's why I've been uploading recently. Again, until next time, peace.